Hey everyone, I uh, thought I'd do a good video to show you how I basically how I'm getting the enclosures ready and I'll do it over you know the week or two weeks or whatever. Um, so yeah these are the leaves I haven't done, these are the ones I'm I have done. Um, yeah I thought I'd just, just show you how I am trying to nip through getting these done. So I'm getting the lids. Um, some of them aren't that good actually, some of them got like little rips in them but two three four I'll try and get about five at a time see look this this lid is pretty fucked already to be honest as you can see there yeah five at a time upside down Now you gotta do is separate them, throw them all off, and then that's it. The five lids done. I've done about, uh, I'd say probably about 40, 50 at the moment. Um, it's, I mean, originally I was doing them one at a time and it was taking me forever. So, obviously, with five, you're doing it five times faster. And that's just easier for me. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I drill the holes for the lids. Um, I'm not sure what the next part will be yet, but uh, obviously it will follow this. Okay then guys, well, I will continue this very shortly. Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Tranchy down here, and I'm going to be doing a quick video to... Um, Basically, I'm going to show you how I'm going to be keeping my OBT uh, spiderlings. They are now pretty much all molted into second instars. And uh, so I've got all the stuff ready. Got, load, got the bedding ready. All the lids and things, which I've, uh, and the enclosures, which I drilled out yesterday. And down here, see there is the uh, some of the spiderlings. So um, yeah, what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm literally gonna just uh, just pot a few up to show you how I'll do it, um, and then I'll whisk through it and show you it when they're all done. And I'll give you an estimate of how long it took me. <laughs> okay, then, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy this. You could probably, uh, you know, hopefully this will be beneficial to any of you. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, then. So the first thing we'll do first is, of course, take a lid. There's no bits on it. And uh, take one of the uh, little pots. I'm just going to just put uh, a little bit of uh, substrate in there. Probably, you know, not not loads, but uh, let's see, it's about it's about half full. And then let's see if I can just get this one out because he's actually right on the top. And see him there. And I'm gonna just very carefully Introduce him. I'm not going to do this with my fingers. I'm going to just probably put the enclosures in there, but because he was uh, he was right on the top. There we go. So there you go, guys. You can see. Um, how big these tubs are, they are quite big, but they should be fine for them. Um, and yeah, the holes I've, I've uh, drilled are all small enough that the actual spider won't be able to uh, crawl out of it. And it can do, there's still a bit of room for him to burrowing and things if he wants to. So yeah, that's basically one done. Only about another 80 plus to go. 
So I'm just gonna place him over here for a second, out of the way. Grab another one, another lid again. Make sure there's no, uh, no bits on the lid. Take the lid off this to move it around a little bit. I've tried to put some bits of tissue in there that will enable them to do some webbing, as you will hopefully see in just a minute. Get there for a second. Again, small handful of, uh, of substrate. Make sure it's all crushed up and And then if I just pick up the tissue, there's only one on this one. Uh, this one's actually uh, only recently molted, it's still quite uh, pale, but I am still going to move them in because um, I've actually found that a couple. Come on then. Yeah, a couple of the. Um, well, I, I found one in fact. Just uh, underneath. Let me just put this on. Uh, yeah, that lid's on. Uh, one of the um, sp spoilings, I presume it was actually a Nymph 2. Uh, if I just find it here. This is actually uh, the remains of a Nymph 2 that's unfortunately uh, been eaten. Uh, it's just basically the legs and the carapace, the actual abdomen um, has gone. So yeah, he got eaten unfortunately, which is of course a, a shame. Um, so I'm gonna, I thought they'd be fine for a couple more days, I was going to do it on the weekend, but it's not worth waiting to be honest, you can see them all there. Um, a couple of them are still in their nymph stage, but all of the actual spoilings I will be transferring today and I'll probably do a couple more um, probably next week. So uh, yeah, I'll do one more guys and then I'm gonna stop filming and um, I'll just carry on myself, obviously get it done as quick as I can. Don't want to put too much substrate in there. And there's one here. Alright. There we go. And a lid. There you go, you can see it should be uh, absolutely fine for them. Half full of substrate, and like I said, this is plenty big enough for the um, for the spiders. You can see it's actually you know quite big for them, but should have some fine for a few molts. So there you guys, I'm going to stop uh, filming and I will uh, show you it once they are all done. Okay then guys, well uh, I've just been separating the slings. Uh, these are four that I'm actually keeping for myself. I have here, uh, these are nymphs, um, the first instars, that haven't yet molted in second instars obviously, but because of the um, spiders starting to turn can cannibalistic, I don't want to risk any of these getting eaten, so I'm now keeping them individually. You can see one just there. So they should be fine in there. Still have these ones left to uh, separate out. It's taken me a long time and there's still some more in here as well. Um, over here are the actual second instars. Uh, these ones are basically ready for shipping, although I will probably feed them over the weekend as well. Let's see one there, just have a roam. And obviously just my stuff that I've still got to do. So um, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do guys, so I'm going to show you how I separate them from a clutch. Um, just thought it might be kind of interesting for you to see. So, um, yeah, uh, let's get the camera set up and I'll show you how I'm doing. Okay then guys, so it's a different camera angle this time. And what I do is I've got a 
I normally make up 10 of these at a time just because it just makes it easier. Of course, door checking to make sure none of them have gone underneath, which they haven't, of course. And then I'm just going to very carefully fold this over. Bring these around. And then very, very carefully coax them onto my thumb. And then very carefully just pop them in. That's it. And I've got the lids already sorted. And then this one. Actually, if they're, it's a bit awkward because of that group there, but you can also put the tissue paper down into the, um, the actual tub and then kind of coax them onto it that way. And it does work. The only problem with doing it that way is I find sometimes the actual spiders will go underneath the tissue paper and then you're fapping around trying to, you know, sort it out. So, yeah. That's how I've been transferring the nymphs. And I'm keeping them in piles of five just because it makes it easier for me to count. Um, obviously these ones will be sold later. So I've got uh, 21 nymphs. They still haven't popped yet, but obviously I'd much rather separate them than have them get eaten. I'm sure they will appreciate that as well. Um, so yeah guys, I've got, I've got two more pots here, so I might as well. In fact, I'm going to make up another few, uh, another eight, and then I will carry on. So give me a second, guys. In fact, I'm going to show you how I do it quickly, so make sure I count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight done. And then I make sure that the substrate is all soft. You don't have any lumps in there. And then literally three. If you can get some kind of a uh, little routine thing going. It's not actually that time consuming. I mean, I can uh, fly through doing this pretty quick, to be honest. Um, just try now, I suppose, try and find what works for you. And uh, luckily, I mean, I'm only doing this with like 80 slings or whatever. Um, well, there's some slings, some are nymphs. Um, when it comes to doing it with my Lassied or Power High banner, that will be a different story. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, you can see how long that takes. Uh, it's not long at all. Um, so, yeah, and obviously by doing this, I always make sure I've got enough lids at hand. One, two, three, four, five. And then open this one up. take out a whole bunch of them. Those stuck together and ten. There we go. So yeah, and then that way it's just it's easier to keep account of things and how things are going. Um so yeah, I'm gonna carry on and I'll show you towards the end when they're actually all potted up. <laughs> okay then guys, well they're all packed up now. Uh, that took slightly longer than I would have liked, but uh, no problem, I suppose. Um, so yeah, numbers. I have 40 spiders that are second in star. Uh, so these will probably probably be sent out uh, next week. I'll probably give them a feed over the weekend. Um, and yeah, they were all obviously kept individually. Um, and I will be sending them actually as they are. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put some tissue paper on top of the substrate and then wrap it up from there so that then you can uh, take out the tissue paper and you've already got the substrate in there to last it for a few uh, malts. Uh, so, yes, there's 40 second in stars. I have 34, which are still nymphs. Now, I was going to leave these in, but because they were in the web, it was really awkward to try and, you know, 
get them out uh, to try and get out this, the second installs and leave the first ones so I decided I'll just keep uh, get them all kept individually as well and they should be fine and then over here of course having first pick uh, there's um, five spiders that I've decided these are the five that I'm going to be keeping for myself so uh, yeah they're not um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing special about them. They're just ones that I found that when I was moving, they would be the ones that would try and escape um, from the tub while I was trying to move them. I saw that as like them volunteering themselves. So uh, yeah, those are the ones I would keep for myself. Um, so yeah, overall, <coughs> oh excuse me, overall, not that bad really. Took a, like I said, took slightly longer, but it's all done now. So uh, yeah guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and uh, if you do buy from me, I um, hope you enjoy uh, your new spiders, and uh, yeah guys, thank you for watching, take care of yourself, and as always, check back for more, video more videos.